Hey everyone, it's me, Dan Morris, yeah, Executioner Dan Morris. I'm here to do a video about what it's like to be me. Not just now, I mean, like, all my life mainly. Well, I'll go for it quick as I can. Uh, in my young childhood, I used to be, like, happy, you know, a really happy child. Yeah, you know, I was, it was alright, you know, back in the 80s, you know, nice times. Just playing the NES a lot, from 87 to 89, throughout that. Last of the 80s. It's like play duck hunts and all that to Just got holidays a lot. I mean, got a load of photos of them when I was in Cornwall, you know, near Torquay, and went to Blackpool in, the, in 1990. I've shared a video of that earlier on the main channel. So, yeah, it was all good back in those days. But then, what a lot of people don't know is that during that time, I was like, I had to live with an alcoholic dad, you know, he was a Looking, it was awful. It's always a um, man. It didn't hardly really touch me though. It's like, it's uh, hit my mum a lot, and not every day, but like half the time, as I, as I remember, probably sometimes. But then when you got to about the early 90s and all that, and it all got a bit bad. You know, drinking more, and and also I had a dog called Titch. He ran away. He managed to. We moved out for a while and then moved back into the same village. And then after that, I went downhill. School life wasn't that bad at the first school, but then I went to middle school and that's when everything went downhill. Big downhill. Mum and Dad split up on my mum's 40th birthday. And then after that, uh, I went to another town. Didn't go to school for a while, but then I only went to school because that was really bad. That's when it started to get bad. Got about, about late 1995. Middle school was really bad. I was sort of picked on a lot. Oh, awful. That was even worse than being at home. I had to move in with my dad for a bit, you know. He, he stopped drinking for, well, quite a little bit, and then weren't drinking that much, but he was still drinking, obviously, but weren't that much before. Still being the way, the way he was, can't, you know, my mum had to keep away from him. And then moved back into this area, but it was in the flats. Still got a load of photos there, actually. When I was about 12 years old, 13. Dad was still drinking a like, lot. He was always coming around, like being aggressive. And I'd be weren't that bad by then, yeah. So to tell you the truth, my later childhood wasn't that really that bad compared to being at home. Being at home wasn't that bad. It was only the early childhood that was bad, but. It's a, it's living around here, yeah. So I've, I've done a video of that before, did I? What it's like to live around here? Yeah, there's a lot of twats around here. That's, that's even, it's, I don't blame Dad for being the way I am mostly. Not really. Because a lot of people have gone through, like, living with even abusive uh, parents and all that, and just been drinking, probably taking drugs as well. So, so I ain't the only one, there's millions of people, so I, I can't say about like oh I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm the only one that's lived like that because I know I haven't so it's like, it's a lot of people I know a lot of people personally probably has lived like that probably even worse so yeah so if you do like live in a like house like that it's best to like always get help and just get out as soon as you can and make sure that your mum obviously you know it's always made the dads and all, that, and all the males that's always caused all the problems it's obviously it's true so you obviously go and get help you know go to a helpline and also not only that get a helpline for bullying as well because yeah I want to get to that now when I was at middle school that's where we all started all the twats started picking on me but picking on me and all that yeah and they still did all the way to high school even beyond you know because they yeah, ain't got a brain you know they know where they fucking are but a lot of them's quite I think grown up now and done their own thing so it ain't all that bad now but back then it was horrible you know I was called all sorts I was I was called like um, what was it I don't know I was called uh, Tramp Riff and all that you know don't know why because they're getting, they're getting like fucking brains but even though probably now they're, they're the ones that's fucking riffs and tramps because they all got getting around like yeah probably taking drugs and all that and being low lives as they are 
Yeah, and also, and also this is the, oh, no, the worst of it. This is the worst of it. When I was uh, 14, was I 14 yet? Yeah. As soon as I got into high school, middle school was uh, as bad, but high school was the worst. That was the very worst. When I got into high school, there was a room, some rumours spreading about me, fucking twats around here, you know, but not just around here, I mean, it's all fucking all around the area, the town, and everything, you know. I was hanging around with some. I was hanging around with the wrong people, and you know what I'm about. Wrong, wrong people. Nothing to. Well, I saw drugs, but that was later on. But I didn't take any because I hate. I can't stand the stuff. Drugs. I can't stand it. Um, there was like spreading rumours about me, and you know, everyone, a lot of people believed it. Only the kids mainly, you know, or the teenagers, you know. No, and I believe other stuff like I used to. The thing I used to like, nick stuff, and obviously then those ones used to nick stuff, and. Yeah, and it, it went on for months and months, and then, then some of it, then some twat, even three years later, still keeps on about it. But it's been it for years, yeah. And then, every time he mentions it, he always laughs about it. I don't know why. It's, it's not funny, you know. It's, it's a very serious matter, you know. But something really bad. But even though I didn't do it really, because nothing really happened. Yeah, you know, wish I'd have fucking killed him back then. But nowadays, I ain't seen him for for many years. You know, he knows who he is, so... I wonder if he's watching this. If you are, you have... I ain't the fucking Sam's was before. And, uh, after... I left school... Got some friends, some jobs... And then... When I've had my own life, you know... Not letting my so-called friends know what I'm doing, you know... I mean, a lot of people are, like, you know, when they go out and have kids... Get married and all that, but... Then there's some people that go out kids and then split up or whatever with their partners or don't get married and then don't tell anyone about it because it's none of their business well I'm one of them people of course I don't always spend my personal life all over the all over the place you know I mean I know I'm doing been doing YouTube for the last two years but it'll, I'll get, it'll, in time I'll get around to doing what I'm yeah like showing what I'm really all about like bit by bit you know when I know I don't show what all I do but, uh, yeah, it's been hell for me. So it's not, it's not all, like, all good and, you know, it's a lot of still like the bad there. I mean, I've I've do rants arrive sometimes, even on YouTube, even on Facebook mostly, because I can't, there's a lot of fans, I don't know why I added them on Facebook. They added me, they, they, they requested me, and I, I, you know, I added them on. I don't know why, but since 2018, like 2018, since I started being on YouTube, I've... Yeah, you know, I've been doing a lot better stuff. Started like staying away from all the people that's really messed my life up, you know. And I do like videos like cats, you know, like Ruby the cat, you know. I've done them videos. I do videos like on fiction activities. I did that almost two years ago on the main main channel. And I've started doing this channel, vlog channel, and I've got a gaming channel as well. So yeah, it's not all been good, but it's uh, been all right so far. Oh, God. it has been hell. I mean, the, the childhood years were the worst. And I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a documentary one day. Not yet, but probably next year or sometime. About my whole life, see what it's all about. Yeah, what's like living around here, like right now. And, you know, I mean, even though I'm here just to look after my mum for the time in the last 10 months and my brother. And I've also got Ruby the cat in there, you know. <laughs> Do some videos of her sometime. I've done a video for three months now. I've done Ruby the Cat Man's 10 on the main channel. I put it on Facebook as well. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll detail a bit lot more about my life, what it's like, you know, for me and you know, all, you know, being, what it's like being me. Because it's a very long story. And it's just round here. When I used to live in this house full time when I was a kid. We used to have like a lot of neighbours, bad, bad neighbours around here. But then since the last, most of the, well, nearly all the time in this house, since I've lived in this house, I used to like be with someone, you know. I used to only come and visit here every now and then, even though like everyone else thinks I'll, I'll live here, but not permanently, but I didn't. I used to like come here like every now and then. And then go back to where I was before, which I won't say, of course, because it's just in case they're watching, you know. The, Twats I couldn't stand, you know, because they don't wreck other people's lives, so that's what it's like. So, but 
now thinking about it now, I think I've done a really good job to protect people I care about and, you know, because because uh, one of them now is, is 18 on December the 4th and he's growing, he's growing really quick I tell you and, that's, and, and with this lockdown I tell you it's absolutely awful because he, he can't go out and buy his own pint probably unless the pubs are open but well he don't drink far as I know <laughs> unless he's been doing it behind me back but <laughs> nah I think he's, he's a good kid growing up you know they've already been in trouble and more like me in a way but He's had a good, more better life than I have. And then you got the other three, the other three little kids. Yeah, but the oldest 18 now. Coming start in December the 4th. Maybe he ain't gonna fucking come around here, I tell you, because he won't hate it, hate it around here. I haven't told him anything I've been through, I tell you, not all of it. Well, I well, will eventually, probably more likely. But then again, I don't tell him everything because he. he, he 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 really hates, you know, because he never been round here before. Because I told the the extra fucking terms of not bring them here because it's a whole horrible place. And if I know about them, they but then they use anything against me. You know what I mean? So it's all in the past. Though, so that's, that's all done with. So I think they, they won't get to hurt anybody who I care about, and they can't hurt me because I'm too tough. So they can try. They, everyone can try and take me down they got no chance because I'll always win in the end basically I'm always one step ahead so yeah I ain't going on for too long now I might do another part of one what it's like to be me but what's it really like to be me right now well it's, it's great you know I'm doing these videos I'm passing time and very good especially with this lockdown the coronavirus and it's just the early childhood was the worst time in my life but the young adult life, then that was alright. But couldn't get any jobs much, you know, because I was not. I had to keep travelling from one part, you know, and then I had to stay here for a while because I had to. Because I weren't driving at the time and I had to. No, I was only here for three months anyway, that's my last job, and I'll tell you what, I want to stay there long anyway. Because they made me redundant. So then I started well, signing on for a bit until I find another job for camera. Then I've done voluntary work a lot. So, yeah, I've done voluntary work for a while because I don't like not working. That's why I'm doing these videos as well because I like to do something to keep me occupied. But I always love doing YouTube. YouTube's in my home now. So absolutely, I love doing YouTube. I don't mind Facebook I'm trying not to be on there much because I, there's a lot of twats on Facebook. I'll, I'll get to it. I'll do another video on that sometime. I'll do it on the main channel. Do like, yeah, about what, yeah, what Facebook's like for me and for, you know that stuff yeah I'll do that another time yeah I've got loads of stuff to come out but I'm but right now on the vlogging channel I'm going to try and do more like do like challenge videos there's always a lot of noisy bastards around here right yeah they come from that road that's the road I'm talking about that's where I used to live fucking twats up there there was oh god bad times I'm glad I fucking moved out of there and I'm um, still living well still part of being this area I can't to get out. This virus has fucked everything up. I'd have fucking moved away by now completely. I've done other stuff. But nah, the virus has got to fucking mess everything up, innit? I don't know. Soon the virus is over the best. We can all get on with our lives and just do what we want to do. Right. I'm going to leave it there. I've been on for too long now. Um, I'm going to do a gaming video later on. I won't say what it is yet, you'll find out later on the Super Sports Gaming channel. Right, so, um, I'm going to go now, so watch out for my two videos on the main channel tomorrow, and I've got my 400, yeah, my 400 video coming on the December 1st, that's my second anniversary to the days so I've done my first YouTube video. And then watch out for your gaming channel later on, because I'm going to put a gaming video on there. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, Hit the notification bell, I'd be appreciated because it'll really support me. And then, of course, follow me on social media Facebook, or oh, that's where I'm all the twats money on. But yeah, follow me on that Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's no problem because I'm, I'm on there sometimes now. 
and of course if, like I said like the video would be much appreciated as well comment and share the video around and also we've got the other cha two channels as well right I'm gonna go now I'm Dan Morris excuse to Dan Morris thanks for watching about what it's like to be me well so far because I ain't done it all yet because it's a long story and I'll be back soon hopefully we're doing trying to do a challenge if we get some challenges and do other stuff which I can do so thanks for watching all your support means a lot to me and I'll be back soon so see ya and enjoy the rest of the day